up guys welcome to your third tutorial in flash today we're going to be talking about the basic tools but before I actually get talking about the basic tools I want to show you guys how to do one thing that's really important and that's to change the background color of your image to do that just go under the properties panel which should be at the bottom of your screen and click this little box called background color and when you click it a whole panel of colors pops up and these are all the background colors that you can choose for your image. Just click a color. I'm going to be working with white today since it's easy for you to see what tools I'm working with. Now the first tool I want to talk to you guys about is called the selection tool and that's the first tool on your toolbar. Just the black arrow. What this tool allows you to do is allow you to select shapes in your flash and canvas. It allows you to move it anywhere. You can also select it when you're doing some other stuff we'll talk about later. But this next tool I want to talk about is called the sub selection tool and that's the white arrow. And what this allows you to do to select one or more points and move them on your shape. Now you can use this tool to scoop them, stretch them, anything you like. Now the next tool I want to talk to you guys about is the next tool called the free transform tool. What this allows you to do is to transform your entire image. You can also hit like that. Or another thing you can do is select only a portion of your image. So this bottom corner, fix up, move it, spin it, press. So this is one way to select portions of your image or an entire image. So, let me go ahead and get rid of this right here since it's getting kind of messy. And the next tool I want to talk to you guys about in the last selection tool is called the lasso tool. And what this allows you to do is select freehand any portion of your image. So say you want to select more swing around it with the lasso, just simply pick it up and move it. You can also select as you want with your lasso tool and pick it up and move it out. And this is pretty useful when you're trying to get a specific area that isn't really have clear defined lines. And the next tool I want to talk to you guys about is called the pen tool. And what this tool does is allow you to make your own shape with any of the points you like. So say you want to make a custom shape with these points right here. Just click and add your points. And when you get to your last point to close it off, a little circle where will appear next to your cursor. This tells you that it's going to close the shape. As you can see we can now have custom shapes and create any shape we'd want using the pen tool. This next tool, text knows how to use this. Just drag to create a text box and go ahead and type in some text. Now the text is going to be the color of your fill down here which we'll talk about later. The next tool, the line tool, allows you to create basic lines. And the line color is the color of the stroke tool right down here. So click it and choose the color of the line you wish to get. And you can drag and release and it gives you a nice straight line. You can also make straight horizontal and vertical and 45 degree angles by holding down the shift key and then drag and you get perfect horizontal vertical lines. The next tool is called the rectangle tool or I call them the basic shapes tool. Once if you hold down this it gives you all the basic shapes that you can make. And of course for the rectangle it will give you a basic rectangle. For the circle you have the oval tool. As you can see we now have a perfect circle. And let me get rid of this using the free transform tool. So I'll cluttered. Just highlight it and tap delete. This next tool I want to go over you guys with the pencil tool. The pencil tool and the brush tool allows you to draw freehand anywhere on your canvas. So let's select one of these tools and now, now draw freehand anywhere I wish. 
draws with this color, the fill color, and the stroke tool is for the pencil, the stroke color. And say you have an image such as this rectangle. This black border around it I call the outline or the stroke. And to change this color, you simply need to use this ink bottle tool. This allows you to change the color strokes, such as any outlines or any simple strokes that you do with pencil. Just go ahead and pick your stroke, and as you see, when we click it, it changes the color of the stroke. Now if you want to change the fill inside it, you need to use the paint bucket tool. Just go ahead and select the color for your paint bucket, and just click it, and as you can see, it changes the fill. Now anytime you want to select a color but you forgot which one you picked, that's when you use the eyedropper tool. Simply click the eyedropper tool, select the color you wish, and then that color becomes your fill color. It's pretty easy to use, just select, select any color and that becomes the color. The next tool I want to talk to you guys about is called the eraser tool. And this is really simple. Whatever you want to erase and it erases. Pretty self explanatory. This next tool called the hand tool allows you to pick your hand. This next tool called the zoom tool gives you these two little plus and reduce magnifying glasses. Plus, of course, enlarges your image or zooms in. And the minus one, of course, zooms out. But there are two easier ways to do this, and that's to hold down control and then tap plus to zoom in, or hold down control still and tap minus to zoom out. Now, of course, we went over the stroke color and the fill color. To pick your stroke color, simply click the stroke box and it will give you the list of stroke colors you can pick. And to pick your fill color, simply tap the fill color box and you can pick your list of colors. So now that we went over all the basic tools, in the next subject we're going to be making our first animation. And of course, if you missed anything, you can go to my website, thenewboston.com, and I'll go over everything we went over today. Thank you.